Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying one of my favorite streamers. It's a great streamer for smallmouth bass and trout. We're going to tie the meat whistle. Super great pattern. Tied on a jig hook, and we're going to get started on it right now. So in the vise today, I have a Daiichi 4660 in a size 1, so a 90 degree jig hook. Um, very important with this fly. You could probably tie this on a 45 degree jig hook too, but Try to keep it classic and tie it on 90. Um, for cone, I have a hairline tungsten cone in size large. We're gonna get going on this fly by putting a lead base down. I'm gonna use 0.025 lead wire. I'm just gonna start this right above my hook point and just get going and just put a good solid base down. Um, I like to start there and wrap almost up to where my cone is, right about there, break that off. And then, because you do need to leave a little bit of space in front of this cone, it's good to get that measurement in now with your lead. So right there, right where I've left it, is about what we want. And then I'm just going to get started with some thread. I'm using UTC 140 in brown. You can use pretty much any thread. Um, I would recommend going with something that matches the overall color scheme here. So just get that lead tied down and then we'll get rid of our tag here. So for a body material, I have dyed pearl diamond braid in a root pier color. So I'm just gonna start this and tie it again right behind my lead. We're not gonna get any bulges or any bulk here if we tie it behind the lead. Make sure I get that down and then I'm just gonna bring my thread all the way back up to behind the cone. So I'm just gonna wrap this body forward, this material here, and just touching turns. Uh, you don't wanna be too tight with this, but you don't wanna be too loose. Just cover up the hook shank here and create a nice even base. And just tie that off right behind the cone. So come in here, get rid of that. The next thing I'm gonna do is tie in my zonker strip. And what I'm gonna do here is take a measurement. So this ends roughly behind the cone. And then I'm gonna rotate this around. I'll check that measurement again and just poke this through here, right in the middle of that hide. Get it through. There it is. Get it back in my vise, make sure it's in there good. And then we'll just rotate this around again. I'm gonna pull this forward, get a nice clean tie off and just get a couple wraps there. And then we'll just get rid of this hide, this extra here. Just make sure you don't cut your thread while you do this. And then anything in the way we could just cover up. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is tie in two pieces of crystal flash, or excuse me, flashaboo. You could use crystal flash if you'd like. So I have three pieces of flashaboo here in a bronze color. You can use bronze, copper, red, a contrasting color, whatever you'd like here. This bronze works pretty well for me in this color combo. So just going to get them on my side of the hook shank, take a wrap around. And I missed. Get it on there. And then I'm going to pull this over. This is not behaving. And we'll just get three more on the other side there. Just come back and wrap back on them a little bit. And then we'll just trim this to length. And the length here is going to be roughly the length of our tail. Uh, you can vary that up a tiny bit there. So once we get those in there, the next thing we're going to do is tie in some rubber legs. So for rubber legs, I have um, hairline local legs in a tan turtle grass color. So I'm going to take my rubber legs here and tie two in on my side, and then I'll do the same thing and fold them over and tie two in on the other side. So just make sure they're relatively 90 degrees on the hook shank here. And then we'll just fold this over, pull it over to the other side, and tie that off. So we're going to take a measurement here, um, trim both of them to the same length, on either side. And we want it to extend roughly to the end of our tail there, a little bit shorter. So where it is is actually pretty good. So we're just gonna leave that in there. Uh, wrap back a tiny bit here. I'm gonna tie in my last material, which is going to be a marabou quill. I'm just gonna tie this in by the tip. I have a tan color. You could use a brown or you know a ginger color here, whatever you find contrasts well. So we're just going to tie this marabou in here, um, my side of the hook shank, 
get it on there pretty well, nice and tight. And then we're just gonna wrap this, a couple wraps going up the shank here. And this is just gonna create like a nice little transition and fill in this gap here. So as I wrap this, I wanna make sure that I'm not trapping too many of these fibers. And that, that looks pretty good there. So I'm just gonna come up here and split this. And then come down and tie it off. There's two wraps on there. I'll get in there and take that stem out. Just gonna come in here and clean that up. Check it out. That looks pretty good there. So I'm gonna whip finish behind the bead. Try not to trap my marabou. And then we're gonna come in front of the bead here, or the cone, push this back. And we're just gonna seat this down create a nice little cone in front of that cone. And this is just gonna make sure our cone does not go anywhere. And then we're gonna whip finish again right over that. It's a little hard to whip finish on these hooks here, but we got it. So I'm gonna come in here and cover this whole thing up with a little bit of UV cure. And again, I just have Loon UV in a thin. So you just wanna cover this up, get it flowing there. Just gonna finish this up by hitting it with my light, guys. It's pretty much it. Great fly to bounce around the bottom. Uh, works as a sculpin, works for a smallmouth, works for trout. Really great. Change up the colors and give it a try. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.